Hey, it's Clay. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my studio. I wanted to show off a new project that I completed this afternoon. Uh, it's still kind of in the prototype stage, but um, it's this little blue box right here. Basically what I've done is I've taken a uh, resistive based dummy load circuit and placed it into a stomp box style enclosure. And what this would allow me to do is I can run a tube amp. Um, this box is rated for a potential of uh, possibly up to 100 watts and 8 ohms or 50 watts and 4 ohms. I can run a tube amp speaker output into this box. This box will apply a resistive load to uh, safely use the uh, transformer so that nothing will blow up. And then I've uh, sent a line out function with a volume control to this little knob here and that's running uh, directly into my recording interface. And so this basically allows me to uh, safely load down any amp tube amplifiers that I may have in my studio. And then I can uh, record with them at any time, day or night, and uh, get some great tones, hopefully. Um, now, one thing that's going to be very important to use is that I need to use some uh, speaker impulse responses to apply that equalization. Otherwise, it sounds very harsh and buzzy. But um, it was a pretty simple box. I got two 50 watt 4 ohm resistors from Mauser.com and I will have links to the de in the description below for the, the parts that I purchased and I'll also have a schematic for how I wired it up. Um, and then I just put a, a, a volume control in there as well. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and do a couple of quick sound clips and just see how, how the thing sounds. I have un turned off the amp, unplugged this this uh, speaker load that I made, and I've just plugged the amp into a 212 cabinet and miking with an SM57. So just to kind of give some reference, uh, for, partly for my own experimentation, to see how this stacks up against miking a real cab. Um, again, this is applying a resistive load, and there's a lot of technical stuff there, but um, for just a cheap basic device, I want to see how this performs. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> something out of that test. Um, I think that the biggest thing going on is, you know, this device is really cheap and inexpensive. I had this blue case, I think I got it off um, some random pedal building website when it was really, really cheap on sale. Um, it's just a super basic circuit applying, uh, you know, a resistive load here. Really not a lot going on in terms of EQ filter or anything like that. Um, but the biggest difference is that this is going to have a reactive I'm sorry, a resistive load. Um, and that is different than the reactive type of load that you're going to have with a tube amp. And there are, there are devices that you can build that have reactive loads, like Sure makes a reactive load box, um, and others do as well. And those do a much better job of matching kind of the impedance curve going on and also the, um, the way that the, the speaker kind of interacts with the amp itself. Whereas this is just kind of providing a very flat basic response. So at least to my ear, just with the monitors and the live, um, it's going to be a little bit more compressed, a little bit less 
um, dynamic, a little bit more kind of flat. But, as just a pretty basic, simple device, this is pretty cool, and uh, something I'm going to experiment a little bit more in the future. Um, you know, these resistors were just, you know, it was like less than 20 bucks for both of them, so um, to put this all together was really inexpensive and uh, gave me some interesting choices for late night practicing situations. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Keep your eyes out in the future. I may put, try my hand at building a reactive load type box, but um, if not, I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.